Hello and welcome to GAPR.com. We are ready with our next course which we have named it as Master SAP ABAP on HANA. This is not yet another training on ABAP on HANA but a special course to master the topic. It is an exhaustive training where we will deep dive into every topics. This is 25 classes training and each class will be little over 2 hours. So you can imagine the depth and width of this course and the plethora of practical contents we will cover. If you are wondering what we will cover in these 25 classes, then these are the 5 topics we will be mastering. We will cover the new way of writing ABAP program in ABAP 7.40, 7.50, 7.51 and 7.52. Trust us, ABAP programming is evolving in leaps and bounds and you do not want to be left behind with the old way of programming. CDS or Core Data Services is one of the pillars of S4 HANA, Fury and RESTful application programming on cloud and on premise. So we need to know the ins and outs of CDS and this training will exactly do the same to bring you up to the speed on CDS and virtual data models. If we are in HANA projects, then we cannot ignore ABAP Managed Database Procedure or AMDP. This is applicable only for HANA database and we need to know how to create and consume them. ADVC and native SQL are also needed in HANA project and we will not leave them behind. Another topic which we will cover in great length is SQL scripting. We can proudly say that no one has covered SQL script in that depth which we will cover in this training. Our idea is to make you a pro in SQL script at the end of this training. Although ABAP developers do not need to work on information models or HANA views in HANA projects, but still we will cover this topic. Activate view and analytical views are obsolete while calculation views are still in use. Our expert will teach you exactly how the BW modelers create these HANA views and how they consume them. We will also learn how to model them and consume in our ABAP programs. But before we dive into the 5 topics we mentioned, we need to have our concepts and foundation clear. We need to understand what is HANA, why HANA was introduced, what are the components of HANA, what do we mean by sidecar scenario, software and hardware in innovations, insert only strategy and the overall architecture of SAP HANA. Most ABAP developers will be in projects where they will migrate from ECC to S4 HANA. This course will prepare you all for that move. We will learn what ABAP code considerations we need to take while migrating our ABAP objects from ECC to S4 HANA. In short, we are talking about S4 HANA readiness steps even before we have moved to S4 HANA. You might not know but the process of migration from ECC to S4 HANA starts months earlier, at least a year earlier if we go by SAP's recommendations. So what do we do? They trace the ECC production environment, but why? To weed out unwanted and redundant jobs. We do not want to take our old baggages from ECC to HANA and waste the band brand new HANA system. So the homework has to be done quite earlier to identify and strike them off. There are some conventional tools and tracing techniques, but we will cover the SQL monitoring tool which runs in ECC environment production and then the report is pulled in development system where SWLT helps to identify the poorly written code in ECC. If we want to take maximum benefit of the in-memory HANA system, then we need to write the code in the correct way and these two steps helps us identify and cherry pick them. You must have heard top down approach or bottom up approach in HANA. Do not worry, we will cover both of them in details. We will first talk about code push down techniques. How do we choose which techniques to use? We will talk about the rules for new open SQL and then we will cover ABAP new ABAP syntaxes. We will invest considerable amount of time mastering the ABAP 7.40, 7.50, 7.51 and 7.52. It will encompass basic to advanced modern ABAP syntaxes. 
This will be the only training you will ever need on ABAP 7.4 to ABAP 7.52 programming. The next topic is information models or more popularly called as HANA views. Historically, BW developers and modelers are the ones who are responsible for HANA view modeling. But since this training is master SAP ABAP on HANA, we did not want to leave this topic. In fact, we will grant every participant access to HANA database as well. Please note, usually ABAP developers work only in ABAP application layer and not in database. But for this course, all participants will be granted credentials for SAP HANA database. They will be able to create the attribute view, the analytical view and the calculation views. Since attribute and analytical are obsolete, we will spend more time in modeling the calculation views. We will understand how the information models work and we will be able to model some complex scenarios. As ABAP developers, you would be interested in learning how to consume these HANA views in ABAP program. Do not worry, we will cover them too and as we look into the view proxies and procedural proxies. Also, HANA view are little different and so is their lifecycle management. We will see how to create HTC or HANA transport container and how we can move the HANA views from development to quality and from quality to the production environment using HTC. Next, we will discuss about the database dependent concepts and technologies in SAP HANA. We will cover native SQL and improvement of native, native SQL in ADBC, which is ABAP database connectivity. We will see the important similarities and dissimilarities in HANA and Oracle. And we will also learn how ADBC is better than the native SQL. Then comes one of the highlights of this training. The promise is to make you very comfortable in SQL scripting, if not a professional in SQL script. We will learn everything needed in SQL script, including control statements, data fetching, table creation, stored procedures, user defined functions, arrays, database cursors, internal table operations in SQL script, temporary table in SQL scripts, loops, and many more database operations in SQL scripting. Trust us, you will not be scared of SQL script anymore after this course. Once we learn the ins and outs of SQL scripting, next we will take a little more simpler topic that is AMDP or ABAP Managed Database Procedure. You might be knowing that AMDP is a normal class with some special methods which runs in HANA database only. It is an interesting topic and, we, and when we are working in HANA projects or S4 HANA projects, Working in AMDP is imperative. We will also cover calling a procedure from another procedure, also check AMDP functions and also talk about some real work problems while working in AMDP. With new syntax where results come in one go and also the AMDPs and the ADBs, debugging has become little tricky. We will debug and practice the concepts hands on. Since we are closer to the database in ABAP on HANA, Exception handling has to be robust. We will talk about DB cursor, SQL handlings, SQL exceptions, and also learn how to handle multiple exception scenarios. Next is the heart of this training that is core data services. We will answer all your queries and doubts of CDS like what, where, why, how. We will also cover associations, parameters, and views on views. We will cover important CDS annotations like object model annotations, OData annotations, analytical annotations, UI annotations, BOPF annotations and many more. There are certain advantages and limitations of CDS. We will check them real time. We will also cover CDS table functions and when and why to use them. CDS is the core of virtual data modeling. We will understand the basic interface composite and consumption view layer of VDM. We will learn about transient provider and also how to consume the VDM. We will practice how to consume CDS and VDM in different consumption cases and also how to consume them in ABAP programs. There are certain topics which need special attention. CDS performance is one of them. Every other institute speaks of CDS but no one talks about the ugly part of CDS. If CDS is modeled wrong, it acts as a boomerang. Even with S4 HANA, 
your CDS query might be worse than the non-HANA system query. In this course, we will teach you how to not model the CDS and also how to check the performance of the CDS. Also, replacement objects is one important concept which you will need to know while working with CDS. We will cover them. IDA or Integrated Data Access uses the in-memory concepts and we will show how to do it. We will also show you the SQL hint and how to use them. This days exposing the CDS as OData service is a child's play. Once we have the OData service, we can easily use them in the SAP templates to create apps based out of SAP Fury elements. You will surely love this topic. This is one detailed training where we will learn and implement all concepts of ABAP on HANA. We will cover end-to-end -end examples using SAP Enterprise Procurement Model. We will also demonstrate all use cases of ABAP on HANA technique using Open Item Analysis Scenario. Be rest assured, it will be like real, line, real client and requirements where you need to write the pseudocode, create technical specs and then design and code the solution in ABAP on HANA. If you practice all the exercises and submit all the assignments, you surely will become master of ABAP on HANA after this training. Let us look into some important date, time and other information. The first day of the training is on March 19th, 2022 at 7.30 am IST. This time is GMT plus 5.5 hours. So if you are in Europe, Africa or West Asia, you might not be able to join the live classes. This time suits better for participants from Indian subcontinents, East Asia, Australia, New Zealand, North and South America. The payment of the fee and enrollment process should be complete by 9th of March 2022. The link to enroll for this training and payment of the fee is in the description section of this video. Each class will be little over 2 hours and the whole course will be around 55 hours. For some reasons, if you are not able to join the live classes, some someday, do not worry. Recordings of this class will be provided after every live class and participants will have lifetime access to these recordings. Remote desktop access to S4 HANA server and HANA database will be provided till June 15th, 2022. The remote desktop access is included in the training fee and you do not need to pay anything extra for it. Also, there is a prerequisite for this course that you need to have prior knowledge of basic ABAP programming. This course is not for ABAP freshers. If you still have any queries, questions, feel free to WhatsApp us at plus one two five one seven two seven nine two seven three or email us at mail zapyard at gmail.com or mail at zapyard.com. Thank you very much. Stay safe and see you live on the training day.